All right, so on this project, it's gonna be a little heat shield for the exhaust on my bike. So now, the problem I've been having is whenever I'm uh, braking, my shoe touches, because I put a different exhaust on this, and it doesn't have a heat shield from the, uh, the aftermarket manufacturer. So what I did here is I just put the lever all the way down, so that way I know kind of maxed out how low I'll go and I'm just taking one of my shoes and I'm creating kind of like a reference mark. So, this is as low as it'll go and what I don't want is I don't want the carbon fiber heat shield to kind of be um, too high so that way I don't accidentally snag it with the very bottom of my shoe. So I'm just taking simple masking tape and I'm gonna create some reference markers. So when I scan it, I'll know, or when I go to the design stage, I'll know how low or how high to go with the shapes. So. If I'm gonna have it kind of like right here. So to me, this would be an ideal situation. So the little heat shield kind of goes right around here, maybe a little bit lower, but not that bad. And now I'm gonna do the same thing for the top. So whenever I'm sitting, let's say naturally, I'd like the heat shield to be kind of like above here. So that way, again, it's kind of not in the way and has enough kind of like extra extra meat on the bone if you will to not create any problems so i guess i'll just offset this one just a little bit more like that there we go so that will be good so the idea is it'll just be a nice little piece of carbon fiber that's just going to sit hopefully not far off i ordered some hardware off of uh amazon today so that should come tomorrow and i'll see how i go about the uh the final stage but the idea is it's going to have like the little the rings that you could just clamp and there's going to be a little hardware mounting bracket so i could just put a screw in over there and over here and again it all matters of how much of an offset it'll have but i'm going to figure that out when the hardware comes but before i do that i need to actually you know design the shape and also scan the uh the actual exhaust area so i am using an einstar scanner and here I'm just going to be object mode, medium and large, and just hybrid features. I don't care for textures, don't need that. And I'm just doing high just because I'm not scanning a lot of stuff. So might as well get the most resolution I can out of it. So now that I have that set up, um, this has some texture to it. So even though this is glossy black and the scanner does not like glossy elements, it's not gonna be a problem because again, don't need this, I just need that. But what I will do is, you know what? I will get a little bit of tape going on that edge so that way I'll just have a reference of how much of an offset I could go in terms of the carbon fiber part. So when the hardware does come, I'll be able to roughly know from the design perspective of how much is going to overhang or whatever so i have doling spray but this will work just fine because i'm designing my own part i'm not trying to uh, recreate it or whatever so no big deal so i'm just going to press this button and get the preview going all right that looks good uh, we can bump up the exposure a little bit just because it's so much black on here and now I'm just gonna start scanning. And so, kind of just working my way through the key area. But at the same time, I'm trying to capture a few of the miscellaneous things, just so it has um, some reference for tracking markers, if you will. Because then, with the exhaust being a round object, if it has other things to reference around it for tracking, it's just gonna help it scan better. So nothing too crazy, but just enough to have a uh, Kind of like a detailed element. So there we go. Now I'm just going to go into the uh, actual main area, which is this exhaust. Like that. This is probably overkill. I don't really need it, but what the heck. Already doing it, so might as well get a little bit extra. All right, everything's looking good. And for those that don't know, 
Green is a good quality scan, red is not good. So I'm just trying to get the key out areas in green. And then I am done, so almost there. I'm just gonna go in just a little bit more, just so I could have this like foot brake pedal. All right. And that in a nutshell is it. I don't really need any more. Very quick, easy scan. All right. So now that that's done, take a quick look at it. Perfect. So I have my little tape markers, as you can see, just gives me a little bit of a little 3D shape. I have the general round surface of the exhaust is what I'm looking for. So that way I just know how, uh, how to curve the carbon fiber around it. And then I have my actual pedal so I know the clearance between the, uh, the area. Um, my foot usually kind of, I want to keep it always uh, like the far left corner of the foot over here. But sometimes um, when I'm doing wheelies and such, the foot does naturally want to slide and shift over to the left. So that's where I would burn it every once in a while and why I want to create a uh, exhaust shield. So that's good. I'm happy with how this is. I'm always scanning to my network so it's not local. And I'm just going to go on my main workstation and process the data from there. All right, so now that I'm in the program, here's the scan. I'm just going to do mesh model. Um, don't really care for any of this stuff. Standard filtering, I can do this mode. And this is all kind of opinion based, so you could do whatever you want. Um, so I gotta press preview. So I'm gonna pause the video for a second. Alright, now that the processing is done of that, that's good enough for me. I'm gonna confirm, then I'm just gonna simplify it because I don't need a million polys or vertices, whatever. So let's see here, one, two, three, four, five. That's two million, that's way too much. All right, let's see what 80% looks like. Probably should have just confirmed it, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'll pause the video again for a second. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna confirm that, that's good enough. I can still see where my tape markers are, my pedal, the key, key features. All right, now I'm just going to Export the scan, and I will name it each or exhaust scan. Then I just do OBJs because my program likes that over STLs. There we go. All right, so 